Hey everyone and welcome back. So I have some new announcements from Scream Factory, uh, an update on a Shout Factory release. I know technically the same company, as well as some new announcements from MVD. So first up from Shout Factory, uh, they have detailed their upcoming release of Joe Dante's Explorers. Some of you kind of jumped at me and was like, why didn't you mention Explorers in a previous video? And it's like, well, actually I kind of forgot, but I figured I'd wait until uh, the details were announced to get back to it, and indeed, they have been announced. So the new special edition of Explorers is going to have actually two different cuts of the film. It's going to have the home video version as well as the original theatrical cut, and there's a three-minute difference between the two, and a new 65-minute documentary in the making of it called A Science Fiction Fairy Tale, The Story of Explorers, with new interviews with director Joe Dante, screenwriter Eric Luke, star Ethan Hawke, and more. Kind of cool they got Ethan Hawke for also deleted scenes with optional commentary by Joe Dante, and new interviews with cinematographer John Orr and editor Tina Hirsch, as well as the theatrical trailer. And that is due out May 25th. And Screen Factory has announced two new exclusive uh, titles in the Roger Corman line. The uh, last two actually sold out pretty quick. First up is the 1972 film uh, The Big Bust Out. And it does have a new 2K scan from the original negative as well as the theatrical trailer. And the other limited edition is a uh, double feature and that features uh, Amazons as well as Barbarian Queen. And each of those two films uh, both have uh, deleted scenes as well as alternative, alternative scenes as an extra as well as the trailer for each. And be advised that both of these releases are indeed region A, and I believe um, Shout Factory does only ship within the US, so just as a heads up on that. And both of these are in fact limited to 1,000 each. And next up, uh, Screen Factory has also announced the details for their upcoming releases of uh, The Hand, Eyes of a Stranger, and He Knows You're Alone. So first up for The Hand, uh, that is gonna have a new 2K scan from the inner positive, a new interview with director Oliver Stone, a new interview with actor Bruce McGill, a new interview with actress Andrew Markovici, a new interview with producer Edward R. Pressman and actress Annie McEnroe Pressman, as well as an audio commentary with director Oliver Stone and the theatrical trailer. Eyes of a Stranger also has a new 2K scan from The Inner Positive, as well as some new interviews, including Turning the Tables, an interview with director Ken Wiederhorn, Sunshine State Stalker, an interview with actor John DeSanti, Master Slashers, an interview with special makeup effects artist Tom Savini and Dean Gates, as well as an audio interview with composer Richard Einhorn and actor Peter Dupre. A new audio commentary with genre film critic Justin Kurswell and film historian Amanda Rays. A rare original theatrical trailer as well as a still gallery. And then finally for He Knows You're Alone that is uh, getting a new 2K scan uh, from the original inner positive. Also with some new interviews including It Came From Staten Island, an interview with director Armand Mastriani. Shooting In My Own Backyard, an interview with producer Robert D'Amelia. Godspells and Blood Weddings an interview with actor Don Scardino. Violence is Implied, an interview with writer Scott Parker, as well as an audio commentary with director Armand Mastriani and writer Scott Parker, the original theatrical trailer, and original TV spots. Both uh, He Knows You're Alone and Eyes of a Stranger are due out May 18th, and The Hand is due out May 25th. And finally, coming from MVD Rewind, are two uh, previously released Scorpion releasing uh, limited editions that are luckily getting uh, re-released. So if you missed out on those from a couple years ago, you uh, you are getting another chance. First up is the film Mortuary from 1983, which is sort of one of those uh, underrated horror films. And that, uh, as far as I can tell, I believe that is porting over all of the existing extras. And also on July 6th, they're re-releasing The House on Sorority Row. And it looks like that is uh, actually duplicating, which I'm very happy about, the second release that Scorpion did of that film. It's had a bunch of spe special features and a really great uh, transfer. I believe they're using that newer transfer. And those original releases were limited to like 1,000, 1,500, something like that. So if you already have them, I'm not sure you really need to double dip on these because I believe they're pretty much the same uh, release. But if you did miss out on them, I definitely highly recommend both of them. And again, these are due out July 6th. And for those of you interested, uh, the first pressing will have slip covers. <laughs> so we just want to give you the update on those releases. I know there's a lot more I need to get to, as well as a lot more reviews and a lot more <laughs> stuff. Oh, there's a lot I need to get to. But definitely let me know your thoughts. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one.